Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and a video recently went up on the internet about a day or so ago and admittedly I'm kind of annoyed about it because despite the fact that it claims my work in Flashpoint and the work of about a hundred other people to be great, it also tends to lie about it by omission in order to serve a purpose or a narrative or it's entirely possible the guy's just completely incompetent, but I need to explain this to you in full because if I don't, I feel like I'm going to kill somebody. So, this is the video. It's called The Mission to Save Nintendo's Forgotten Mascot and it's a video on a Flash game called Mission in Snowdrift Land which was available in 2006 for a period of about three to four weeks at which point it disappeared off the internet entirely and as, as it turns out, people really liked the game and wanted to save it until someone got lucky way in the late 2010s where they found a copy of the game still up and available on the website of the developer. That copy of the game has since been saved to Flashpoint and this video is a partial documentation of that. It's also a sort of interview piece with the game's creators that asks them about wh what they're going to do to preserve the game. And while they are preserving some form of of the game by putting it up as a HD remake on Steam, the original version, considering what Mr. Robinson has said in his video about it, it's not going to be available forever, at least according to him, if you believe what he's going to say. Eventually, some server is going to go down. I'd love to show you like the video itself. And I do have a copy here, saved for posterity's sake, right? And he does show that Flashpoint both boots and runs the game. But, he also claims that the game needs to connect to a server. And in this portion of the video, he lies by omission. He doesn't claim the true fact that the game needs to connect to the Flashpoint servers in order to be downloaded. He leaves that little fact out to the point where uh, a person who is unfamiliar with the project could reasonably think, based on what he said, that the game still needs to connect to the extra toxic servers, and so when they decide to take it down, the game's gone for good. And this is such a thorough under misunderstanding of the way that Flashpoint works, that I have to just show you how Flashpoint itself works. So, this is a copy of Flashpoint. It's actually the master build copy. And we do have basically everything here. We've got the server, we've got the legacy server, which we need for reasons I won't go into. And in the HD Docs folder of the master copy, we have everything. This is basically everything that's in version 9.0 and then some. So what I want to do is I also want to show you where the game files themselves are. So if I head into extratoxic.com, shared, Nintendo, and then this Mission in Snowdrift Land folder, we can see the individual files for everything in the game. The backgrounds, the enemies, the levels. The weird, like, marketing stuff that Nintendo had going on in order to, you know, as the thing that they commissioned Extra Toxic for. It's all here. It's all safe. And you can access it all at your own leisure through Flashpoint. And I would like to demonstrate that. So the first thing I want to do is I want to head back to the Flashpoint folder and head over to the Launcher folder and start up Flashpoint. As you can see, it's popped up in my tray icon down here because I keep it pinned. I keep this master build, build pinned for this exact reason. So if we search for Mission in Snowdrift Land, there it is. And we can play it. But you might notice down here that I'm actually connected to the internet. I want to do something about this. See, in the video that he presented, he used some weird proxy switch that also had an internet kill switch in it. Which is a really inefficient way of just doing this. So, just for the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to open up Chrome and show you my homepage, which is currently Blue's News. I was going to say Blue's Clues there for a second, but Blue's News is a website that is a game news aggregator. I'm just using it as a demonstration. So if I disable my Ethernet adapter through the Network Connections panel in Control Panel, and then open up the page again, Hooray, we're not on the internet anymore. So I want to show you that this game works perfectly when you're, you are completely offline. But, just for the purpose of posterity, I'm going to show you that I don't have any of the files of the game 
on the hard drive itself through, say, temporary internet files. Because temporary internet files can hold a copy of the game so that I can actually play it offline and not have it screw up in some way. That's not the point of Flashpoint. I just want to be covering all my bases here. So this might as well be a completely blank uh, machine. No copy of the game whatsoever, and yet here it is, it still works. Logs. So as you can see, it's seeing all the files, it's downloading them all just fine, except for that date.php one, ignore that, that's irrelevant to the game needing to work. And if we pick a level, it loads up, it loads all the marketing buzz, and off we go. I apologize for no sound, let me just fix that up real quick, although I warn you, it's gonna be a little loud. I'll edit it later on so that it's not. There we go, we've got sound, the game works. It's actually a pretty good game, I'm just not very good at it. If we head back, we can go to say level 9. It works too. And remember, no internet, no temporary files, no nothing. It works offline entirely. And that is the major benefit of Flashpoint. That is the point of Flashpoint. When you've got all the files, the entirety of the framework, all offline, it just works. You don't need to be worried about downloading any extra files. You don't need to be worried about downloading any extra Adobe Flash projector stuff. You don't need to be worried about downloading any of the games. It all works. It's all there. It's all entirely offline. There are no outside connections needed. It just works. And being a preservation project, that is the entire point of Flashpoint. Cool, right? So how did... Nick Robinson come to the mistake that he did. So let's just turn my internet connection back on again, right? This is going to take a second because it's not instant. But there we go. So we're back online. And we're back onto the site. What I want to do is I want to go to my website right now. Because there's something here that will help us see where he could have at the very least made the mistake. Or at most purposefully left something out of the video. So, we have two different versions of Flashpoint. We have the Ultimate version and we have the Infinity version. The Ultimate version is what you just saw basically with a couple of tweaks to it because I, I've barely worked on it in the past couple of months since Flashpoint 9 came out. Every game and animation is available on your hard drive from the get-go. No internet required. Internet required when playing a game for the first time but downloaded games can be played offline afterwards. So, that is Flashpoint Infinity. The entire point of it is to make sure that people don't have to download the entire game at once, right? They don't have to download the entirety of the 78,000 games just to make sure that they can play one copy of Interactive Buddy or whatever. That's the entire point of it because not everyone can download 500 gig. Not everyone has a terabyte of space to extract it. I understand that. That's the point of Infinity. It makes me shiver a little inside because the entire point is to save as many games as possible, but... Well, you're not going to be able to appeal to the normies that way, are you? So, just for the purpose of demonstration, let's go back to my Flashpoint folder on my hard drive here. You can see that I have a copy of Flashpoint 9 Infinity installed here. It's completely empty. There are a few image files... Well, actually, I don't even think it downloaded the image files because we started out in Grid by default. Yeah, it downloaded a couple, but otherwise it's completely blank in the way that a normal copy of Flashpoint Infinity would be, because the legacy htdocs folder is where downloaded files for games that have been played are stored. I also did not mean to do that. I also want to do the disk cleanup thing again, because now that I've played it in Ultimate, it's left behind temporary files from the Ultimate copy on my hard drive. So I want to make sure that everything is nice and clean, so that we can just pretend to be running a blank and fresh copy of Flashpoint 9 Infinity. So let's start up Flashpoint. It's probably going to look a little different, but nothing too out of the ordinary. Yep, there it is, Flashpoint 9 Infinity, Glorious Sunset. So let's go and have a look at Mission in Snowdrift Land again. So for those of you who don't know, the way that Flashpoint 9 Infinity works, and every other version of Infinity works, is that in the legacy folder, we have what's called the router. And you're not going to understand this just by looking at it, at least 90% of people. 
But this router basically connects to our servers, and I'll show you how. So if I search for... Actually, no, it should be right up here at the top, shouldn't it? No, never mind, hang on. Router base. Router base URLs... Come on, fine, there it is. It loads in the servers listed in router base urls.txt. That's what it does in order to find the addresses that it needs. So if we edit this, we can see that we've got two servers here. We've got our Infinity server, and we've got the archive.org server. And these are the two servers that the game pulls files from in the same way that Flashpoint Ultimate hosts the files in its local directory here. So yes, this does mean that you can host your own Infinity server by putting all these folders up on a, on a server and then changing router base URLs in order to read some, a different server, right? But that, mean, that means that it downloads the files from our servers, not extra toxic. And if I run Mission in Snowdrift land here and go to the logs, you can see that it's currently using the base folder of Dream to download and stream these files. So as you can see, it's downloading the world maps, the game levels, the health, and it's downloaded and streamed 50 and 100% right there. And it's grabbing them from that particular folder on our server. Infinity.unstable.life, Flashpoint, Legacy, HD Docs, Extra Docs, Extra Toxic, blah, 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 blah. You get the idea. So we have managed to load into the game here. And if I head on over to Flashpoint 9 Infinity Legacy HT Docs, you can see that there is now a new Extra Toxic folder with all the stuff that is downloaded. Because you see, Mission Snowdrift Land was invented in the days where dial-up connections were still popular, and to be fair, there are still a fair amount of them out in the world. And in order to make sure that it could load successfully on these slower connections, it split the files up into multiple different files that it loaded one at a time. So it hasn't loaded anything in relation to say level one yet, but once I click level one, you can see the logs going in the background here. You can see that the levels has just changed and the world lake is there and eventually some more files will populate. There's level one, there's the backgrounds. There's some more coming, trust me. There's the lake.swf and there we are. The game works, I can still play it. It has streamed our files in from our servers on the internet. It has nothing to do with extratoxic.com whatsoever, at least the one that's hosted on the internet by the original developers. It is absolutely fine. Let's say I want to go to level 6 now. I go to level 6. It doesn't download as many files, which means it should be a little bit faster, but yeah, there's level 6.xml. And there we go, we're off again on level 6. So it still works as expected. But, what if I was to, say, disable my internet connection while I was out here? So let's just disable that again. For the purpose of posterity, I open up my browser. There we go. Can't get to Blue's news. Name not resolved. Minimize that again. Now let's say I want to play level 18. See? It cannot get any more files because it's not connected to the internet. It can't get to what it's looking for because it's looking for them on our server. Now, I'm assuming this is what Nick Robinson did and didn't bother to look any further into the problem. But that's the entire thing about Flashpoint. You need to be online to download the games in question in Flashpoint Infinity before you can play them again. But if I were to close the game up, head back to games, go back to Mission in Snowdrift Land, you can see that we can still access this. And if I try playing level one, all the files are still there, despite the fact that my internet is disconnected. That's because Flashpoint needs to download this game's files one at a time, because it handles it the same way it originally did on the internet. It makes it so that it downloads the individual files one by one as they're requested, the same way the game originally did when you played it on its original server. So when Nick Robinson stopped his internet connection in order to demonstrate that the game still won't work offline, he has demonstrated nothing except that the game was uploaded in pieces, Flashpoint downloads the game in pieces if you're using Flashpoint Infinity alone, and that if you're missing a piece and you're offline, it can't get to our servers to get the pieces that it's missing. But, of course, 
if I just run this cleanup again to demonstrate that the game is not in our, on my hard drive in the temporary internet files. And we come back down here. Actually, no, let's do it the right way. This is the Flashpoint Infinities directory. Let's go into Flashpoint proper, launcher, Flashpoint. Yeah, allow it because it's not, it, it's, it, it thinks it's on a different network now because that's the way Flashpoint works, but whatever. A uh, mission in Snowdrift Land. We open that back up. It's here. Try playing, say, level 18. It works. What Nick has implied by saying that with Flashpoint Infinity, even though we didn't even apply it the Flashpoint Infinity version, what he's implied is that the game is not truly safe. He has, he's implied that the game simply isn't the same that it was before. That he, it could never be truly preserved. Even though we have very clearly done the work. We have very clearly made it so that it's all there and it will work if you are offline. Except for the one where you have to download it all in, um, all in one shot while you're online. Then it works offline. He's taken this warped the meaning around and said oh the game is not preserved forever when the servers go down it's down it's gone when the extra toxic servers go down because i either believe or have misinterpreted that ex when extra toxic goes down we lose access to the files of the game completely therefore it is my personal job to constantly badger the developers about getting it back out at which point he has basically hidden a, uh, I don't know exactly where in this video it is, but he has basically taken credit for announcing a remaster of the game, which will be coming out on Steam in winter 2021. So when you watch it under the context that he might have just not realized that Flashpoint Infinity works the way that it does, that it needs to download the game piece by piece because that's how it originally was, that's how it worked, but once you have every individual piece, you can go offline and it's all good. Or you download Flashpoint Ultimate and it's all there to begin with. He's misinterpreted that as, oh, it needs to connect to the extra toxic servers. And therefore, once those are gone, it doesn't work. If you interpreted that as a mistake, it's okay. But at the same time, in a video that is 40-something minutes long, in a video that has gone to so much... I was actually on the right folder there. In a video that has gone to so much effort in order to edit together all of these interviews, all of this history, to get something as definitely wrong, as 100% wrong as the original game is no longer going to exist once the original servers go down, if someone manages to interpret it that way, it comes out as a lie about Flashpoint. And how far does that lie about Flashpoint extend? Does that mean when Flash is gone in like three weeks and Armor Games, as they have already announced, say they're going to lock off all the games that don't work in Ruffle until they don't work in Ruffle anymore. Does that mean that Crush the Castle, which won't probably won't be available. I'm not going to claim to know whether or not this works in Ruffle or not. I have not personally tried it. But does that mean that... Crush the castle will be gone forever once Armor Games goes down. No matter what the Flashpoint project does. Does that mean our copy of, say... I probably shouldn't show that one. Um, does that mean our copy of, say, The Way of the Ninja? Also known to basically everyone as N. Does that mean that this copy of it will be gone? Once uh, the internet goes... Um, once the uh, Way of the Ninja takes down this game from their website. Does that mean that'll be gone forever? It's impossible to know whether this is a lie of omission to make himself look better for being the one to badger the devs into making a HD remake of Mission in Snowdrift Land. And as a result, if the lie of omission is true, he's purposefully making Flashpoint look bad. And I cannot stand by that. And the reason why I think this way, and a few other people think this way, is that people have pointed out this to him on his server. 
and even a couple of Flashpoint team members ended up on his Discord server, which you can apparently only access by donations. As to the point where someone paid $3 to get onto his Discord server from our staff to, uh, to tell him specifically that he, he, he was wrong. Flashpoint does work offline, you just didn't understand how it worked. To which point he replied, and I'm going to do a bit of a jump cut here to not expose too much of our staff channels. Right, I can't even show you this because I'm not I'm not online. Let's uh let's just turn my internet back on. So I actually found the image that I was referring to, and man, it's worse than I thought. Like, look at this. Hi, you completely misunderstood the video, blah 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 blah. Mission in Snowdrift Lane and its current iteration always individually downloads its levels from extra toxic servers. I have just proved that's not true. I have just 100% proved that's not true because he's using some weird ass proxy server kill switch thing that is completely irrelevant and I've shown you that there are way better ways to go about it just by using the Windows uh, bloody thing. There it was. It was right there, but I, I can't scrub through this thing at like... Really? Really, there it is. See? He's using some weird ass kill switch thing on Windows here that just must interfere with Flashpoint in some way. It breaks its local proxy that we use in order to make this shit work. It's really annoying too. And as I said, another lie by omission. And I don't want to say that, um, I don't want to say something along the lines of someone could be purposefully misled from this video. Guess what? Somebody has. Maximus the Dude. That's kind of... I didn't mean to click your profile, mate. I don't blame you for this. I do not blame you for this. Why does Nick revitalize everything he touches? He literally saved this game. Not true! Simply not true! But he's been misled into thinking that because of the way he portrayed Flashpoint as a bad piece of software. And if I scroll down, it turns out he's actually made an even worse response. That's not an accident, lol. If you paid attention to the video, then you know how important it is we do everything in our power to keep extra toxic servers from crashing. Linking the game description would result in 100,000 new people being sent to those servers in the course of the day. It would almost be disastrous. Anyone who actually watched the video closely knows exactly how to get the game. But, but, that's not actually true, is it? Because you've shown Flashpoint as being an incompetent piece of software that doesn't actually work. And unless you're implying that people are just going to be able to go straight to the URL shown in the video in order to play the game in their browsers, that ain't true either. Mainly because there is a time bomb in Flash right now, and on the 14th of January 2021, they are going to disable Flash in all browsers, not to mention the projectors. And when they do that, you're not going to just going to be able to go there anymore. Who knows how long they're going to keep that up either. So when that side goes down, the game's gone. Flashpoint, still safe. Yes, I am totally editing this in in post, why do you ask? You yourself, in a reply on your Discord server, has said, You completely misunderstood the video. Open the Flashpoint Ultimate version, disconnect your computer from the internet, and pick a level the game hasn't already cached, and guess what, the level won't load. I just proved that isn't true. This is what I hate. How many subscribers does this guy have? 865,000 subscribers. Now, I don't mean to be a jealous bastard, because, I mean, I've only got 29,000 subscribers myself, so this might come off as petty, but I have spent three years working on Flashpoint. I, I can cite a hundred people who have put a significant amount of effort into Flashpoint. I know how it works from bottom to top, and to see someone come along and get it so wrong in a video that's otherwise so slickly edited and full of otherwise interesting information... To have someone with this kind of reach come along and get it not only wrong, but get it so wrong as to make us look incompetent at our jobs. To make us look like the, that we don't do our jobs properly. That we can't preserve anything because we haven't figured out how to make an extra toxic connection work. To outright lie about us because you're using some incompetent piece of software that can interfere with ours and then get 250,000 views on it, and get people think that you are the one responsible for saving this game, quote unquote. When we've already done that, when someone else has likely already done that, when any like effort to just download the files in general and share them around 
can do that. And you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to fucking do. That, that should be something that I should do. Frankly, I don't even know if this is going to work or not. But frankly, if you have a copy of Flashpoint Core, you can make this work even if it doesn't. I am going to zip these files and I'm going to upload them directly to my own personal web server. That way, they aren't going anywhere. I'm not going to do it right now on this video because I don't want to go showing off how my internal things are because I have some things stored there. I'd rather not get out to the public. They're just there as backups. But I can upload this directly to the internet. I can save it to my own web server and it can be there for as long as it damn well pleases because as long as I'm on the hook for Flashpoint, that server ain't going anywhere. The mission to save Nintendo's forgotten mascot was finished two years ago. You just didn't know because you're in either incompetent or being willfully malicious in order to make yourself look better. It's subtle. It's really subtle. I can't say for sure which is which, but when you've got a result like this, which is clearly different from what I have just been able to demonstrate, I've got to tell you, man, it's looking like you're being malicious to make yourself look better. This has been Blue Maxima. I'll see you all next time.